it's seven o'clock on Thursday, or is it Tuesday or Sunday? Who knows anymore? I'm just happy to be wearing trousers. Tonight, for the first time ever, Children in Need and Comic Relief have joined forces. So put down that banana bread and stop that online quiz and prepare to be entertained. This is the Big Night In. Welcome to the Big Night in Live from the One Show Studio. Matt, do you, do you like what we've done with the place? Do you know what? The I jacuzzi think... in your dressing room was my idea. Oh. <laughs> I do like it, Lenny, but what have you done with the green sofa? All ah, right. Come well, on. Uh, <clears throat> yes, myself, Matt and Davina are here with an unforgettable night of entertainment to put a smile on your face. It's important to know you may be at home, but you're not alone. That is right. Comet Relief and Children in Need have come together for the first time ever. Ever! Ever! <laughs> to raise money for those who need it the most during these really difficult and unprecedented times. Do you know, we nearly called this thing Comics in Need, but that's a completely <laughs> different show. Now, <laughs> Lenny, sit, what have you done with Pudsey? Where, where is he? He's been furloughed. Um, oh. I think he's at home watching Emmerdale. Oh, right. furloughed Pudsey. Um, and we can all reassure um, the viewers that we are bringing you this show in the safest way possible. Everyone in the studio, we're all two metres apart and we're taking all the necessary safety precautions. We are, and we're doing this with a fraction of the team that it would normally uh, take to do a live show. So, um, yes, yeah. literally anything could happen, or actually <laughs> nothing could happen at all. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah, fingers crossed, all round. Uh, now let's take a look, shall we, at the multitude of magnificent treats that we've got in store for you tonight. Joining our aim tonight is to do what we can whilst hopefully keeping you entertained. And we have got a lot of people to help us out this evening, including some big Hollywood stars with a plan. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Well, I spoke to Jen, Bryn's daughter, who you saw in that film earlier this afternoon, and Bryn is absolutely delighted that everybody is getting to hear his story. And he's going to be sat watching us tonight <laughs> with a tin of Guinness that Eve delivered to him on Tuesday. Aww. And they said that Bryn and Eve talk on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Oh, so that's today's so been lovely. a good day for Bryn. Now, of course, many of you are fighting real battles at home, and tonight is about you and thanking you all whilst hopefully keeping you all entertained at the same time. And for those of you who are looking at ways to help with the donation, then we are trying to make it as easy as possible. And if you would like to help to take care of older people, just like Bryn there, well, you can do it by giving whatever you can. And those of us who are taking part in the show tonight, well, we've all made a donation too. And here's how you can make yours. Oh, Miranda. Well, a very big night. And thank you to Miranda and the whole cast there. Love you. Oh, love you. Mm. Now, it's fair to say, isn't it, that lockdown has seen an increase in dodgy DIY home haircuts. Oh! My wife did mine, actually, for tonight. She's done a very uh, good job, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Lenny. Yeah, uh, more and more people <laughs> have been taking matters into their own hands. And we felt it was only right uh, that we got involved in all of the action this evening. So tonight, um, three brave, dare I say, foolish souls are preparing to lose their locks in lockdown, all in the name of charity. Um, first up, them. we're going to go... Yeah, good for them. First up, we're going to Leeds um, to the Howarth family. Hello, Howarth. Howarth, this is Davina. You are live on BBC One. Please do not swear. <laughs> um, Yet. Yes. Um, so, no, ever. Thank you. Matt, what's happened to you? You've completely gone off the rails. What's going on? Gone um, Lizzie, again. how are you feeling? Are you the one getting your hair cut? I am, yes, yeah. And who's going to be doing it? Uh, my husband, Jason. OK. And your daughters, uh, Leia? Which one's Hi. Leia? OK, hi. And Ava? Hi. 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 So, can Dad cut hair? Well, look what he did to his own. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lindsay, are you oh, hoping... That... Yeah, yeah. Are you hoping he's just going to take the ends off here, there? Are you looking for a completely new do? Yeah, something a little bit different. Love it. Yeah, oh, it's no, been that's on for a while, so I can't see a change. That's immensely risky. Look at Jason's face in the background. Yeah. He's like, what? Really? Different? How am I going <laughs> to... He looks trendy, though. He looks I think like he's looking he the could... part. Yeah, he looks good. Right, he's we're going to catch up part. with you later. Good luck. Very good. OK, oh, next up, you. we're going to go to Sussex, uh, to the Ledwidge family. Uh, let's say hello to the Ledwidges. Hello! Oh! All right, Hi. so who, who's going to get their hair cut? Now, put your hand up if you're going to have a haircut. Who's it going to be? Daddy! Oh, right, now. 
now then. Now, oh. who's going to be doing the cutting? Is it Mummy Sarah? Mummy Sarah. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Uh -oh. my Amber, how old are you? How old are you? Nine. You're nine. Oh my okay. goodness. And Amber, what, what kind of hair cutting experience have you had in the past then? Have you had a go before? Had a go before? No, not on a real person's hair. Not on a real person. Well, whose hair have you cut then? Not a real person. A real person. I cut a Santa's figurine's beard in half. By accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, Dad, Jason, how much do you like your beard? And is this is this going to be part of the hair cutting experience? Let's hope so. Um, well, it wasn't supposed to be, but I've been railroaded into it, so yeah. Um, but um, I'm not sure how much is coming off. It's in her hand. <laughs> well, good luck with that, guys, and we'll catch up with you a bit later. I absolutely um, can't wait for this. So, one. you might <laughs> recognise the members of this next household. It is YouTuber Joe Sugg and Strictly's Diane Baswell. Yay! Oh, oh, no. Doing a fine pass of doble. So, Joe, you're not the one having your hair cut then. This is no, something else. No. What? You're not going to let him anywhere near your hair. Your hair is like the most beautiful hair ever. Well, I know, and I'm actually a professional hairdresser, so you would think <laughs> I would be cutting Joe's hair, but no, the tables have turned and Joe is going to be cutting my hair tonight. Yeah. Are you feeling confident, Joe? Not really. <laughs> involved <laughs> holding sharp scissors, and the last time I held to meet sharp on telly, I ended up fainting, so um, oh hopefully word. I'll not make the same mistake again. Well, this, uh, this could certainly make headlines, so have you, got, <laughs> have you got a style in mind? Have you got a style in mind, Joe? Okay. Do you have a style in mind? I'm going to go slow and steady and just ask you every second. Oh, wait, right. well done. That's very good. good. That's very right. good, very good. Advice. OK, well, listen, have uh, good luck, Diane. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> good luck, you. good luck. Thanks. And we Bye. will be revealing the results of all of our haircuts in about half an hour's time. So chop, chop, time to start. Oh, chop, well, geez. Chop. Look at that. He's got, oh, he's got oh, it. What? It's a shave. He's got he's to shave. He's going to clip us out. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. They're going for the full <laughs> Kojak. They're not even going to see their haircuts until we show them uh, live on the telly. But anyway, uh, right. Well, there's um, there's not many of us in here tonight, actually, in the studio. Mm. But um, who is feeling lucky in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, good yeah. news, everyone, because here is Mr. David Walliams, uh, and he's going to tell you about something that it's money can't buy this price. Just have a look. How what a belter! How, how good is that? <laughs> that is the most amazing prize. I mean. All kids would love that prize. All adults would love that prize. Yeah, I mean, that's true. wow. So um, it says there you have to be 18 or old over to send the text, but when you're texting, you can nominate someone younger, obviously. So here is the number again. So just text book to 81155. That's book to 81155. And one lucky winner will be receiving a phone call on the 1st of May. Oh. Guys, it is totally true. It's a big one. That. It's a biggie. And David has been incredibly generous. Yes, with so us generous. Tonight really lovely. Because that is not the last that you're going to see of him. Because later on, he's reuniting for the first time in 10 <gasps> years with the one and only Matt Lucas to bring us all a very special edition of Little Britain, all the way from their living rooms. What a night tonight. <laughs> oh, no, it's That's lovely, ridiculous, isn't it? isn't it? Now, every year, Children in Need and Comet Relief benefit from the support of really brilliant partners. And since the start of this crisis, they've really all pulled together to do everything that they can to help us. Here's my jammer. Thank you, Rishi. Looks like it's going to enter the David Williams book competition uh, where he's sitting there, doesn't he? And don't forget, uh, if you are giving tonight, then you will be asked about gift aid. It's a very simple but really important way of raising extra money without it costing you a penny extra. And here are two children in need legends, Sam and Alex, with a tasty way to tell you more. Something very, very special indeed from the UK's best loved vicar. No, no, not that one. <laughs> not the one goggle box. We were doing so well. We were doing so well. It's the one and only Vicar of Dibley. Go on, Dawn. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one. And it's our very own Rockstar Weatherman. That's the forecast. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.
thank you for joining me on my virus virals countdown and to play us out well it's the rock star weatherman one more time owen win evans more like owen win the internet forever yes owen owen i just want to say owen next to hugh edwards every night oh, doing that now don't so you good. absolutely phenomenal thank you greg brilliant stuff uh, now it's over to maya jammer to tell us how the wonderful customers and staff of hsbc uk have been supporting the big night in a friend well said maya yeah huge thank you for all of your efforts now just a reminder uh, we've got the live clap for carers uh, coming up at eight o'clock but just before that we have got a really special treat for you that we've kept a massive, massive secret. In fact, we didn't even know about it until a couple of hours ago. So have your coats on standby and get ready to watch before you nip outside. <laughs>